the witness of an evangelist who visited hell, she told her experience to a pastor, listen carefully, I let myself be called servant of the Lord for 38 years, I was working for the National Council of the Assemblies of God in the United States working hard, I would go back and forth carrying the message of the Lord here and there. Since he called me to ministry I took the message from place to place and I traveled several places, I was in the state of Veracruz in Mexico, also in the state of Guerra, the state of Triapa and in several states of the Mexican Republic leading women's events and councils, I was holding meeting, traveling and sometimes had to get off the plane up to three times, and go up again, for I had to share the message. I thought that by doing this God was gonna be grateful for everything I did for his kingdom, I moved to many places carrying the message, many times I asked the Lord to show me where I would spend eternity at my heavenly mansion, I asked the Lord because several times on several occasions brothers and sisters came and said in their testimonies they were taken to visit heaven and hell, until one day I arrived at dawn, soon I went to get something from the fridge and I ate with my husband who was hungry. When I came I was so tired, I went to my room and threw myself on the bed with the shoes for I was very tired, when I suddenly felt the door opening, I thought my husband was joining me, I heard steps that slowly got close to the bedside and when these steps got close to me, I heard a voice that called me with authority, I started to feel it wasn't my husband, then this voice said get up Anna and come with me, today I'm going to show you where you will spend your eternity. I will show you where you will be if death surprise you right now, when I got up he held my hands and we started to go down, I was surprised, I thought that we would rise to the skies, my surprise is that we didn't start to climb but we started to go down, there was an enormous darkness, a darkness so huge like a curtain, there was no light except the light from the splendor of the Lord, I was clinging to his hands I could not let go. I held him strongly because I knew I was going to hell, I started to say, Lord, I can't go in that place, the Lord was silent and said nothing, I gripped my hands tightly as we kept going down, and we went down until we reached the heart of the earth, when we got to the heart of the earth there was a huge gate as if sealed, the gate was completely closed, then suddenly it started to open and I began to see a crater, I heard the cries and groans of thousand souls, I mean millions of souls screams in this greater and it was a horrible plague, I held strongly the hands of the Lord and I said not in this place I cannot come here, and the Lord did not tell me anything, finally the door opened completely, I couldn't stand the smoke and the heat, I got closer to the master, for his body exuded a breeze that came out and refreshed me. When you go a little away from him you will feel an unbearable heat that cannot be endured, a plague so horrible. There were screams of thousands and thousands of souls, the Lord looked at me and told me, you know this place, I told him Lord I've never been to this place but because of your word I understand this is hell, the Lord told me surely this is hell, here comes all those who commit sins, those who do evil, those who are liars and all those who do not repent and refuse to receive me as their savior, I stayed silent and started to say, Lord I can't be in this place and the Lord said look at this place for you belongs to this place, it is where you will spend eternity, I said to the Lord, no, Lord you are wrong, I am your servant, remember, it's silver, I serve you for 38 years, 38 years of service, 38 years of praising, 38 years preaching your word, 38 years taking your message in different parts of the earth, you know how much I serve you, the Lord shook his head saying no and I said Lord why do you say that I am not your servant, he told me, now I will explain to you how humble my servant are, how to break your vessel and to be glorified, look, you forgot that in your life you said one thing before the assembly and did another thing alone, you preach one thing behind the pulpit and you lived another life in secret, it's not because you preach, sing in the group and choir of the church that you are saved, salvation is something deeper than that, without holiness no one will see God says the word, upon hearing this, I started to cry because there was remorse in my heart, already I could no longer lift my head to say to the Lord that I was his servant, the Lord told me, look, Anna, I liked how you preached, but you liked being sightseeing going from place to another taking with my message, you took my message here and there which is great, 
but the issue is that you say one thing before the people and do another thing in secret, look, I want to show you something, and suddenly a screen appear, as if it was transmitting images of a video disc, on the screen I saw it was written a prostitute, how a whore lived, the Lord said to me look and watch, when I look at the video of the whore I saw how I went up to the altars to preach, brothers I went to the altar with lady trousers and I thought it was no problem, I went to the pulpit to preach with shorts, with skirts that had cracked up to the top of the knee, I sometimes went up to preach with low cut blouses, the Lord told me, you say you are my servant but the life you live was not of my servant, my daughter, if you dress like a whore you are no different from a whore, do you remember that I gave you long hair, and you cut your hair, and you dye your hair in different color of your choice, brother I had cut my hair and I often painted it, I walked six months with one color and another six months with another hair, often when I arrived at the church my pastor said hello Anna how beautiful you look, I thought how pleased my shepherd is, and I was pleased too, but the Bible tells us that we are here to please God and not to please men, the Lord said behold, see how my people are dressing, suddenly the screen started showing the people of the world going into bars, nightclubs and discotheque and places of rock, as they got in those places young people were in short skirts, tight pants and skirts even shorts, I saw how they entered in nightclubs and discotheque, the Lord told me look at the way my church dressing is the same with these people entering nightclub, this dressing is the same with people in churches, look how mine people look, this is the condition of my church, brother I had to lower my head and could no longer say I was the Lord's servant, I could no longer say that I shouldn't go to hell, there were no more words for excuse before the Lord, the only thing that I did was lower my head and accept that hell was my portion, I started to feel ashamed, the Lord started to tell me, you painted yourself just like a whore, and I want to tell you that my people have to be different from the world, from 10,000 in the world one has to be different, because my people have to make a difference, at that moment we started to walk into that place near a crater in front of a deep well, and I couldn't stand the smoke and sulfur anymore, brothers everything there was red fire, I saw that there is no rest either by day or by night, there was a heat unbearable, according to my calculation it was 3800 degrees of temperature, that no one can withstand, even a piece of iron will melt and will not support flames in this place, there were souls tormented in the fire, they shouted to the Lord for help and the Lord turned his back as if he wasn't seeing them, I was walking behind him, he began to say, look, I'll give you one last opportunity, you will go and preach the gospel of renunciation, repentance and change, it does not matter who criticizes you, even if they take you away from the movement, go and speak of all that I am showing you, go and take the message for them to repent, behold look over there in the crater, so many souls that used to call me Lord, they used to call me Father, one day they sang in the church, they spoke in tongues, they prophesy and preach my word, many of them took credit in the churches, they played in the church and now they are here in hell because they lived a rebellious life, they were hypocrite before me, they presented one face in the church and another face in the world, they would come and applaud in their churches and did so many things at home and now these souls are here in hell, many believe that following me was nothing more than going to church, singing and feeling something, nothing more than that, but I'll tell you one thing my gospel is not the gospel you have today, many pastors, preachers and evangelists have corrupted the word of God and the gospel of Christ and they preached this cheap commercial gospel, as if the church is a supermarket, I mean brothers, God wants you to preach the gospel that caused souls to repent, I was crying in this place and the Lord started to tell me, go tell the counselors, go tell the shepherds, go tell these fake preachers, tell them to preach sound doctrine of repentance, it does not matter if people will be offended, it doesn't matter who leave the church, because sometimes these pastor has to change the message because there are people who don't like to hear the truth, there are church members who do not likes the truth, you will tell the preachers that say I just look at the heart not the body, tell them the body is my temple, tell them the body has to present what's inside your hearts that live and holiness that keep my word, go tell every one of those preachers who charge big amounts of money to preach, warn these wicked people because I already paid the price.
Go say to the singers by their sins they have desecrated my holy place, go tell those wicked people to repent before stepping into the holy place.